This sub VI implements the main detection and correction function. I've already set up the input controls for our syndrome table, the syndrome computed from the received code words, the uncorrected word stream, and then also the control that indicates whether or not we ought to remove the check bits from the final result. So we need to process each word in this uncorrected word stream and what we do to, to affect that correction is pull out the most likely air pattern associated with the syndrome value. The syndrome as it comes in is a uh, boolean pattern and we need to convert that to its numerical value so that way we can use it as an index into this uh, array lookup. Now we don't actually want to pull, pull off individual pieces of the syndrome table but rather pass that in directly to the index array node. Now we can select which row and we can also select which column. The uh, syndrome table has been organized for each pattern along the rows, so we use that connection. Syndrome comes in and then picks off the most likely error pattern associated with that syndrome number. Let me digress for a moment and just take a look at the detection process, which is really straightforward. We compare the syndrome against zero. If it's not zero, then an error was detected. So if we were to connect a indicator to the output terminal of that for loop there, we would have an array that indicates whether or not we had a uh, detectable error for each of the incoming code words. Now the way we actually implement the correction is with modulo 2 addition, or also known as exclusive OR gate. So this says that each uncorrected word comes in, we then XOR that with the most likely error pattern, and that gives us our corrected result. Now we could just send this right out, out the door of the for loop, but we also want to be able to, de to deal with any possible check bits that might exist. The case structure gives us a nice way of taking one of two options depending on uh, the value of re remove check bits control. When that control is true, we need to essentially take a subset of the Boolean array. Now the subset would be the first k bits of the word. Now we have uh, a length indicator and we also have an index, uh, excuse me, a length terminal and an index terminal. And the values that we actually have easy access to are n and k, uh, excuse me, n and q. So k is simply n minus q. Now if you work with this a bit and, and look back to try to remember the details of these, you should be able to find that you can use a couple of these array size indicators and look at the syndrome and the uncorrected word stream dimensions and figure out the values for n and q. Now the way we deal with the, the case when we are not removing the check bits, well, just simply pass that, pass that through. All right, this should give you a good start on the way to completing the rest of the sub-VI.